Hi everyone, this is Nate G from Global Currency Reset. Today is June 3rd. It's already June 3rd. It's about 3.47 in the morning right now. I just finished typing out an article on how to buy Iraqi dinar, a guide on how to purchase it and where to purchase it, and how to avoid uh, scams, ripoffs that are really common. So um, we start off with, first of all, what the dinar actually looks like for a lot of people who aren't familiar with it. So this is what it looks like. and um, you can kind of see the watermark here of the horse and if you had the an ultraviolet light you can actually see what it looks like um, so that's a nice little image for you folks to zoom in on it's one of the biggest images I was able to find of the dinar um, and so this goes into an article about where I purchased my dinar from and I put some links here to specifically um, Amazon and eBay. These are just like generic links you can see for just dinar. It doesn't necessarily go to any specific um, product. Wow, I didn't even see that somebody was selling a million dinar for fourteen forty nine. Interesting. Uh, don't buy these Saddam notes if you see these. They're worthless. And you can see, even though I searched for Iraqi dinar, it's still brought up like Zimbabwe. Stay away from those. You don't want those, and you don't want the Saddam notes. Make sure you're just buying. Um, the new Iraqi dinar notes and I have some more videos posted about which dinar notes to actually buy but I just prefer the 25,000 notes they're just the biggest ones and they've got the most security features and they're very hard to counterfeit um, and then here's the eBay link I put where it automatically searches for Iraqi dinar on eBay and you can just arrange this however you want you can see there's 1,278 results um, what I'll typically do is I just search for um, buy it now and you could just search for well actually it brings up some of the best ones right in the beginning um, treasury registered and you can't see who these people are right away you're actually gonna have to open up each of these links like this into new windows and you, you're gonna have to see their feedback rating okay so make sure they have a pretty high feedback rating. this guy's got a good feedback right here uh, so does this person so yeah all three different people and um, more on the guide that I typed I specifically said that you don't want to buy dinar on reserves I go into detail about that uh, there are some companies that had problems with reserves I think some of you who were listening to Tony's recent call <clears throat> I was informed that they had trouble that, that company sterling that uh, Tony admitted that he works for and uh, here's the link right here where it goes to my YouTube channel you can see where Tony says he works for sterling I mean if you just google Tony works for sterling it'll bring up this YouTube video um, I'm just gonna play a brief clip where he actually uh, says it so you guys know I'm telling the truth and others um, have a relationship already with with certain banks uh, when this goes they'll be able to finance them and doing what they're doing so I don't think that's going to be a problem. Here it comes right here. Um, I think Sterling is a solid con uh, company since I've been working for them, since I've been working for them, since I've been working for them, since I've been working for them. The main reason I looped it is because I really wanted to bring home the uh, the emphasis of that. So just you guys can search for that. I mean, that's the only thing I edited in the audio was I, I basically did a loop and uh, I got rid of some of the nonsense talk and just went right to the end of the phone call where uh, even the one Pam which is Tony's wife I guess Pam is short for uh, Tamara or whatever it's his wife is what I heard and this could be wrong but I heard that his wife is really Pam <laughs> which is odd um, that she even says at the end so you're telling me you don't get paid to, to pump dinar I mean that was how the phone call ended it was like long as I've been right here buying from I see he anything else See how he flips up. Yeah, I, right I do think they're a good company. As long as I've been <laughs> buying from them. I so are you telling me that you don't get paid to pump dinar then? Okay, so, yeah, they're trying to make a joke out of it, but, um, and then, you know, I guess they contacted Sterling and they said, uh, no, Tony doesn't work for us, but, you know, he admitted it, and everybody heard him admit it, so I don't know why, and apparently recently he had the people from Sterling actually on his show so you tell me I mean why would a person who's talking about the dinar actually have a dinar dealer on the show and that just is really suspicious guys that's all I'm saying okay 
So I put the links in there. Um, I go over why you could actually buy dinar with your credit card um, on eBay or Amazon. I think they're the only ones that really do this because if you just search for the regular online dealers, they pretty much want you to just do a direct deposit. Um, so I've got some more links here um, about the dinar. I, I show a little link here to a uh, currency exchange for if you were to buy 100,000 Iraqi dinars, it should cost you $85 US. You're not going to find it at that price because that doesn't include markups or fees or shipping or anything like that. So I'm just showing you that's what, in reality, that's what 100,000 dinars are worth. 85 US dollars, almost 86 if you round that up. Okay, so this is just a really good guide. Um, it links to another video here that some people haven't seen, but it's really important. It goes over different scams and everything. Um, there was a recent eBay user who I had contacted, and I had said to him, uh, why don't you have physical dinar? In fact, while we're watching this video, let me just go ahead and uh, go into that real quick. Okay. Just so you guys know. I mean, I actually do real, real research. That this isn't just me talking and blowing hot air. I actually want you to know what I do. Okay, so I'm going to show you my sent mails first. It'll uh, show a timeline. Okay, here it is. Uh, this is the first one I sent to the guy. I said, Hi. Do you sell physical dinar? If not, why? And that was on May 23rd. And then he responded. Have, have, in the past, to friends and family, but at this present time, I am not selling any dinar. I have to make sure I have enough on hand to cover all the contracts in the event of an RV. Okay. So then I sent a message back to him. I said, so, if you don't sell it, where did you get it? Where should I buy it if I want to hold it in my hands? And then I said, are you a licensed dealer? Okay. And that was, I think that was it. I don't think he, yeah, he never responded after that. So you can see the date on this. This is from eBay. May 23rd, 2014. Uh, it says you replied to this message, which we just read that. So when you search for his name, you can see there it is right there, Kevin Most. And if I click it, look what look what comes up on eBay. No longer a registered user. Wow, imagine that. And you can see what he had for sale right here. You can see how many people he ripped off. Um, let's go to his number. Ah, here we go. So you can see all these different dinar options. He was selling 10 million dinars. Tell me, these are all different um, dates. Look, May 4th, May 2nd, May 1st. And you can see how much people were paying. Look at this auction right here. Oh, it won't even show it. Let me see if I can find another one. Okay, this was from May 27th. This one's from like five days ago. Okay. Oh, it's gone. They deleted it because he's no longer on eBay. Uh, but you can see exa it's essentially what it said. It was 10 million dinar options. 10 million, 10 million, 10 million. It's just, it was just for contracts. But look how many he did. He did a bunch in April. Look how many he did in April. A bunch in May. And then, of course, I contacted him, and then eBay did an investigation. He got kicked off of eBay. So, great. That's what I do. You know, I get rid of all these people who are scamming. Okay, so there you go. Um... This is, uh, there's, there's a lot of information in this article. There's some links at the bottom for you guys to click on. And you have probably have already figured this out, but even Google seems to agree with me. Um, when you search for TNT Tony, my site comes up right there, globalcurrencyreset.net. There's a reason for that. That's because Google considers my site relevant to talking about Tony. And you can see out of 16 million results, my website's like what number six and if you type in let's try another one dinar guru I'm listed as number four right there out of one and a half million and see so we got dinar recaps you can see I'm not logged in by the way I have this open in a private browser so that way I'm not tricking you guys okay there look dinar recaps you can see where my where I'm ranked there and then look there's my YouTube uh, YouTube video right there. 
So I'm ranking for Dinar Recaps. Who was that other guy? Yeah, Dave Schmidt. Uh, and ranking for Dave Schmidt right there too. So even Google seems to think that globalcurrencyreset.net is a good site. It's got a lot of important information. So these, these are not faked. You guys can do these search results from home and you can see. Okay, so the new article is called, um, it's going to be at this link here, globalcurrencyreset.net forward slash buy dash Iraqi dash dinar. I just like to do that. It helps with the, with the searches. It makes it easier to find, you know, because normally when you, when you have a post on WordPress, it defaults to something, something weird, like, like, like something like that, something really stupid. And I don't like that. I like to have the phrases in the in the title that are going to be in the URL. I like to keep everything matched. See, buy Iraqi dinar, buy Iraqi dinar. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoy this article. Um, forward this off to anybody who's thinking about buying dinar. There's a lot of information as to why you should not buy dinar options. Um, and there's a whole bunch of other links I put on here. And again, there's that free PDF here you can download. So go to that check out the free PDF for that new book, um, which you'll see the link right there on Amazon. It's called The Big Reset. Definitely check out that book. And remember, if you have any questions, you can always just comment at the very bottom. Let's see. Please share this article. Oh, that's right. I'll have to fix that. I think what I did was um, I put this on the home page that way you can comment on the home page so um, this article is not posted yet because I'm still in the process of uh, finishing it up but you'll see a link to this article on the home page here and just like with this article if you click the title you can actually comment at the very bottom sorry I'm still getting used to the differences between um, posts and pages for WordPress as you can see all these people have been commenting there's one from this guy, Andy, from May 26th, and I respond on the 27th. So there you go, guys. I really care about what you think. So if you have any questions or comments or concerns, please make sure you comment on the article link uh, when it's posted, okay? Thanks. Hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll talk to you soon.